uh, fellow Ambalanders, uh, greetings from this end and accept uh, revolutionary greetings. Um, I am uh, making this video in um, response to uh, a live uh, video by one uh, Gili, Gili and uh, Yerima of um, uh, S SCBC, you know, what they call it, yes, and um, which was talking about the UMPO. I, f I saw the kind of frustration on the part of these members of this group known as the IG and I see um, a lot of, of hatred, blood, bad blood and um, whatsoever on their part and I was also taken aback with the uh, lies that could come out from Comrade Yerima's mouth for uh, the lady called Gili Gili, I know she was like on steroid so there is nothing I can say about her because I don't know her very much but I saw her trying to collaborate the lies of uh, um, uh, Yerima and I was I was so disappointed and it was disheartening for Yerima to be tell, uh, to be saying things he knows nothing about as if he knows something about them and to the extent where you see Ambazonians clicking like on it as if what he was saying was the truth for example what does Yerima knows about the creation of the AGC nothing and in fact, he knows nothing about the creation of the agency. He doesn't know when the agency started or how it even came about. He takes something from about 2003 and he's talking about the creation of an agency in, 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 uh, 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 just some few years ago. And people were like, it's true. The, 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 the SCYL had their own internal problems. SCYL has never, ever had internal problems. You have never seen that anywhere. Have you ever read anywhere that the SYL and the chairman of the SYL were at long ahead or that there is another SYL faction somewhere? So, wh what the hell are you trying to say? In fact, um, it is nice that in this revolution, no matter how you hate a group, when you come out to say something, say the truth and nothing but the truth. And it is also good that this uh, S SCBC, which is almost like a CRTV, should also try to get the opinion of the other people of the other side, from the other side. Because without that, people will keep being fed with the lies, just like the CRTV does. They cook, polish, and uh, narrate everything to suit the regime in power and the opposition has nothing to say about it that is just scbc for instance why don't why can't they call um uh, uh, um uh, uh, prince ayamba to let Ch uh, prince ayamba explain how far we have gone how much we pleaded with skakuf that they get registered uh, 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 into the umpo we have correspondences and all what they would tell us is uh, uh, how many countries have gotten independence because they were involved with the UMPO. What, since the SNC has been with the UMPO, what are the benefits? These were the questions they were asking us. They saw no benefit. In fact, they saw no use for us being with the UMPO. No use. Let Comrade Yerima say the truth. In fact, I've never even seen him in any Skakuf meeting. I've never even seen him in any deliberation meetings. I don't know where he's getting his trash from. He's talking about people contacting, contacting him for the UMPO issues. Let me tell you the truth. If we are to go to the UMPO, we do not need Yerima to go to the UMPO. The UMPO office is, in, is here in, in, in Brussels. The Secretary of State of the AGC works there live and talks and do whatever he wants to do with the people and uh, uh, the Secretary of the UNPU. Why do we need Yerima for? He said when they formed the AGC, we called him to be uh, a, a leader of the AGC or whatever trash he's, say, he's talking about. During the formation of the AGC, we said, okay, let us have representatives from all the groups. And we called almost everybody from all groups. This is what we are trying to do. Please 
let us see that we can work this out. And that is how it was. We do not call him to come and be a member or something. We called so many people. I was also representing SCNC in the, in the, in the, in the AGC. That is how AGC came about with members of all those um, uh, redentist movements that were fighting for the liberation of, of Amazonia. So let him not come to talk trash and, uh, and let people just keep saying yes, 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 without asking questions just because they, 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 they want to kill the cat and hang it. Now, let me tell you, when we started begging Skakuf to get registered into the UMPO, they had questions that they wanted us to answer. What are the benefits of the UMPO? Have we ever benefited anything from the UMPO? The price we pay yearly for the UMPO is too much that we can use in following other steps. This, this, this and that. And then they weigh two options together and they preferred fully lock. This is the same group that sacrificed the UMPO for fully lock. They were telling us about the fully lock and we said no, go to the UMPO. Go to the UMPO. They said, no, no, Foley Log will have this. It has international organization. They are in base in, in the USA. They enjoy what, what, what at the UN, that they are already ready with the case files, and that they are going to put our files into the United Nations uh, uh, Security Council. And they gave us all type of false hope. And we told them that, please, what you are believing in, we believed in so many years back, and we did not see anything. Uh, uh, um, uh, to believe in uh, um, uh, uh, as time pass, passed by and you people come to your senses once you people go and get this same block route they said what you people did in the past don't think that this is the same time this is a modern era and the amount of people supporting uh, uh, the southern Cameroon case now is not as few as it was during your time so they sacrificed UMPO for Foley Hawk and we sat in a meeting and we said okay good now, these guys, they don't want to go in for this UMPO. Well, let us do it. Let us do it and see how it goes. That was how we decided to do, to, to do this. I remember even here in the, in the uh, 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 um, Southern Cameroon's Belgium uh, uh, group, we still pleaded with them that they should ask Skakuf to get themselves registered. They did not. So we went ahead and we did it. When we did it now, the, um, uh, uh, Skakuf was going ahead with the IG and then they got stuck with this their fully locked thing that no one has seen any benefit from. They got stuck. When they got stuck, they heard that we have registered ourselves as uh, uh, representatives of the people in UMPO. That is when they came back now and deposit an application. They deposit they deposited an application at the UMPO saying that they are the true representatives of the people because they enjoy the, that they enjoy the majority support from the people. The UMPO had to call our, uh, our liaison officer who was uh, 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 Prince Ayamba and say, okay, these people have deposited this file. We cannot attend to two files from you people. Then uh, Ayamba said, okay, good. If that is it, then let us, I will meet with the council and we will take a decision on that. We met in the council and we said, okay, good. Let, them, let us allow them to go on with their diplomacy. We take our money back, put it in, in, in whatever we are putting in and march forward. That was a decision. Then our file was dropped. When our file was dropped, the UNPO started uh, uh, calling those peop members whose um, uh, email addresses and numbers were given as contact persons for the IG. None of them were responding to, to, to correspondences. None of them were responding to correspondences. And none of them was even uh, um, a, a part of those who were arrested. So, how we were all dealing with, uh, 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 with, 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 the, with, the, with the war in our territory. It was not only the IG that was dealing with it, AGC was dealing with it. We were all dealing with refugee crisis. It was not only the refugees don't belong to the IG, for God's sake. They are not the properties of the IG. They are Ambazonians. And all groups, all Ambazonian groups are concerned about the refugee crisis. And all Ambazonian groups are concerned about the uh, uh, killing, maiming, and rape and war going on 
in the territory. It's not only the IG. So they should not say that uh, because of that they could not be responding to this. Then that shows the laxity in the nonsense called uh, IG and international groups like that because of um, uh, 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 the refugee crisis and what is going on in the country. You could not uh, respond to diplomatic uh, 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 correspondences and then you call yourself a government. Fuck shit. So these guys, they got back to us and they said this, um, we, we cannot get contact with uh, these guys. That's when SS had to call Yerima. These people have been writing, they are complaining to us that nobody is responding. Can you submit some names for, uh, for those who are available to talk with these guys? Yerima submitted some names and those people answered two or three correspondences and they never answered any again. So they called back SS again and Prince Ayamba had to call uh, the, 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 the commander-in-chief of the AGC who convened a meeting and we decided in that meeting that it is like the IG only wanted to stop us from proceeding with this UMPO stuff because they know that if we come out with something which shows like we have something on our sleeves it might be weakening the IG it's like they're in some kind of competition with us and not necessarily to get us admitted into the IG or to work for the people so we said, okay, from here now, we are going forward. That is how we call the, uh, the, the, um, the uh, uh, um, UMPO and ask them to bring back our file. They brought back our files and we started the correspondences and we're going ahead clean and clear. Now look at the kind of uh, um, intellectually dishonest guy who can sit there and say that we hurriedly created an, uh, an arc to go and show the IG, the, uh, the, the UNPO, that this is the organization that is taking care of the people. When did we deposit an application and when was ARC created? This is pure papatage. This is nonsense. This is intellectual dishonesty. When, when I want to look at some of these guys who said they are fighting for this cause, I don't know what they, what, what, what they are really standing for. Let the truth be told. I want this uh, CBC, SCBC to call uh, 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 um, members of the other panel. Listen to them. Let them explain to you what happened that the IG is not the, uh, uh, the uh, 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 represented at the uh, is not a group that uh, that is representing us at the UNPO. And by the way, nobody ever said that. We are the first uh, guys to have taken Ambazonia into the UNPO. But people just sit in their houses, make up uh, their own questions and start answering them in order to kill the cat. Uh, let us grow past this uh, 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 madness, please.